Hello everyone, I really appreciate you all for watching this video. My name is Raquel Guilherme Mello and these are my co-workers from URGS and Unicinos. And my research today is about the magnetostratigraphy and environmental magnetism of the Actian and Albion boundary of a sedimentary core from the Sergipe Alagoas Basin, in South Atlantic, Brazil. First, the motivation behind the title is Look at this area, all black, right? That is the Cretaceous Long Normal Polarity Crown, the Super Crown C34N. So during most of the Aptian and Albion, it was a normal polarity. And right before, there was a high frequency reversal that became a calm period for at least 37 million years. At the same time, drastic environmental changes took place besides the geomagnetic field. There were changes in the paleogeography, paleobiology, ocean chemistry, ocean and oxide events, carbon isotopic composition, metal concentration in marine sediments, and continental and oceanic magnetism. And in this red circle right here is our target. Sergipe Alagoas Basin, a basin with gas and oil production within the ages of Aptian and Albion. The research aims to contribute to a better understanding of paleoenvironmental variation, paleocircular variation of the Earth magnetic field, and paleointensity variation during the C34N, using the core SIR03 from Sergipe Alagoas Basin. Here you have South America, Brazil and the northeast coast and that's the exact location for the core so results first here we have the Riachuelo formation 200 meters it's mainly composed of fine grained segments such as shales marls and paxton some ammonite shells and interspread layers of dark gray shales there are two intervals where the shales have a darker gray color we have two members classified here, Marwin and Taquari. Marwin is a carbonate shelf, it's an area of less sediment input, and Taquari member. There are lagoons on the external shelf and on the slope. For paleomagnetic results, there were 642 cubic samples for magnetic susceptibility, showing a variation along the core. There is this special point around 180 meters with lower values that may fill the gap of low latitude records of an ocean and oxygen event 1b. There were 368 samples used for NRM results. First, a maximum angle of deviation has an average of 5 degrees with high values less than 10. The characteristic RM for inclination has an average of negative 18 degrees. As we are talking about data from South Hemisphere, the negative values mean normal polarity. That's important because places the core in the C34N as most of the samples are negative polarity. Some positive ones can be related to excursions and possible reversion already reported in the literature. Unfortunately, the core SIR03 was not azimuthally oriented and therefore we could not use the declination to determine geometric, geomagnetic polarities. And last, using biostratigraphy, it was possible to observe the first occurrence of this special planktonic foramen, the Microhedebergelle levis. It's it's part of a planktonic foraminifer zone that marks the base of the Albion. At in the core, it marks at 171.55 meters. For this reason, it's the first time that high resolution of geomagnetic field is shown in this region. We also worked with unmixing magnetic coercivity distribution with ARM acquisition data. Looking here. At the orange points, the magnet component is interpreted as related to the trital magnetite and or alien dust. Right now, we are working on data for the relative paleointensity curves 
in order to observe the variations of the intensity of the geomagnetic field as the polarity, the one thing that could vary is normal for 37 million years. I'm showing here some preliminary results of the ratios, ratios uh, NRM and MRM and NRM and low frequency susceptibility curves for the score. Both of the curves follow each other as we can observe. The next step is to acquire, acquire more data of MRM and also IRM data for a better result and also work with pseudotelia. For last, a precious border impact is, mm, well, to discuss the geomagnetic field variations in time and space, a high resolution age model is needed and our colleagues from Unicinos made it possible. Here are some preliminary results of a paper that's coming soon using cyclostratigraphy, biostratigraphy, along with gamma data. It was possible to show that the entire core, the period of the sedimentary succession of the, the CR03 cores, extends for 6 million years. That's all. Thank you very much for watching this video. Any questions related to it, please mail me at this email address. Thank you.